bucks. This is at 255 near Collinsville. This is in the Metro East near Horseshoe Lake Road. Apparently, this is a police chase near a field. You see officers giving chase to this white pickup truck. Apparently, it's north of 111. Apparently, this vehicle is wanted for fleeing several traffic stops. This is in progress right now near Horseshoe Lake, north of 111. As you can see, um, the car is on a rural road and apparently there is uh, an emergency vehicle behind that white pickup truck, far behind. Uh, it doesn't seem like this is a very heavily traveled road. So, you know, in, that is good news anyway. We are also, we apparently they're going, according to uh, uh, Bomberita Automotive Skyfox, they're going about 95 miles an hour on this rural road. We are also streaming this live on Facebook right now. If you want to check it out online, uh, John, um, are you familiar with this area? I am not, but I, I do know Horseshoe uh, Lake and, and the uh, the road that he's on 111, which is basically runs parallel uh, to 255. And so, you know, it's, it's a straightaway. It's not the type of area where somebody can hide in a, in a vehicle like that. In a right. Truck. And. Uh, yeah, this is going to be going on for a while. As as we mentioned, this is a police pursuit, and we see now emergency personnel, police officers now gaining on this white pickup truck. We are told going at least 95 miles per hour. Apparently, the people inside wanted for fleeing several traffic stops. Okay, now it right, seems sorry. like they are getting into more heavily populated area with a little more traffic on the morning commute um, and just kind of, Again, this is near Horseshoe Lake, near Collinsville. Can you uh, can you see on your monitor what he has in the bed of that truck? Uh, not on the wide shot, I can't. But you see yeah. other vehicles pulling over to make way for that uh, pickup truck yeah. and the police officers in pursuit. Uh, we are. Is that a person That's in the what back? I was thinking I could. Oh, and it's in, tires. It's tires. Okay. It's tires. It, it looks yeah. like tires. Okay. But you know that the, the sirens are going, and you're noticing people are pulling over. That's a good thing. That's the, always what concerns us is that people can't see this coming. And then he gets to eastbound 162. Yeah, people see this, you know, don't see this coming, and they get in, in these intersections. Uh, often it can lead to a collision. So that's that's the main concern here. Again, you are watching live from Bomberito Automotive. Skyfox are breaking news of a police pursuit. This white pickup truck to the left of your screen apparently wanted for fleeing several traffic stops. Police officers are now in pursuit. Uh, we saw at least two police vehicles. Uh, giving chase to this car, this pickup truck, which according to uh, the folks in Bomberito Automotive Skyfox, pilot John Brubaker and photographer Doug Larson, they said that this car, this pickup truck, is going at least 95 miles per hour. They can tell by comparing their speed in the chopper to the speed on the ground with the vehicle, John. Mm -hmm. you, you always wonder why people take off like this, because you're, you're not going to get away, uh, especially when you've got eyes in the sky like this. And it does appear that he is slowing down a little bit here, unless he's getting ready to, nope, he is pulling over. I think he realized what we were thinking. You can't get away. Uh, police, no, are, was, police are giving a bit of a distance cat, to this vehicle. And, mouse game here. and now another uh, police vehicle, as you see. There are three behind the white pickup truck, pulling into what looks as though up, an industrial area and ends up in a ditch. Yeah. Okay, now he'll probably jump out, try to make a run for it. Police are trying to cut him off in the front. Folks, you're looking live from Bomberito Automotive Skyfox. This is breaking news of a police pursuit in the Metro East near Collinsville. As you can see, the truck is now, now, now out into the field. Look at that. Trying to make his way back to the road, it seems. Yeah, he's going to use this little gravel road. I think he's a little disoriented as to where he is. Yeah, right down into the drink. Now, I don't think he's going to get out of that one, that ditch. Yeah, Spin in fine. the wheels. Now, um, as you see, the suspect bails. There he goes. Two individuals. He's reaching inside of his vest there. One guy's got hands his hands up. up. It looks as though this is going to end without anybody being hurt. This vehicle, his once again, right was being pursued Get down. Because they fled several traffic stops. You have police on the scene taking the two suspects into custody. Thankfully, this ended peacefully. Yeah, this was in and the Metro Seemingly East, without injuries. Uh, along Horseshoe Lake Road, North 111. 
and yeah, that would be, I believe, uh, that's Madison County. Yeah. So that sums up this chase right here. They've got two individuals. Incredible work by the folks in Bomarito Automotive Skyfox. Thank you, Mr. Brubaker and Mr. Larson for bringing us those images. That's what the morning commute looked like in the Metro East this morning. John, thankfully, ended peacefully. That's the way we like to see it end yes, without indeed. anybody getting injured. It